I started with my uncle, who was big into mountain biking, and he took me to Green Mountain to go do some mountain bike riding. He still has like some footage of it. He had one of the little old cameras. And then I saw a poster um, for a mountain bike team involved with a high school. So I figured I loved the, I loved it so much in middle school, why not step it up into high school? And um, from there, I just fell in love with riding. My sophomore or freshman year, I decided that I wanted to take a year off, but then I realized you have to have money to do that. And so I decided to try and get a job at Yeti. And I made a lot of awesome friends um, that helped me with my racing. And my last race was in Crested Butte, and I actually won the downhill race. It felt really good, and I had some of my friends came, and that was really special. I was in a lot of different pains at that point, which is how we figured out that I needed to go to the doctor. Because I was getting pain everywhere, I was like, oh man, I must have ridden really hard yesterday, or that game of basketball must have taken its toll. Um, and then I was diagnosed on December 11th. Then we figured out it's Ewing sarcoma. Um, it's not genetic, it's uh, kind of just a fluke. like. Um, there's no reason why it would happen to anybody specifically. Um, so it's pretty, pretty rare and not a lot of people know about it. It can be a soft tissue or a bone cancer. So your tumors can form in your bones and in soft tissue as well. It's most common in boys 10 to 20 years old. And um, that's a very active age for, for anyone. So it's, it can be hard to tell what the pain is and what it's coming from. Mountain biking is hard on your body and that's what I thought it was when I was diagnosed. I was like, oh, my wrist? Yeah, that, that's just from riding all the time. And um, it turned out to be my primary tumor was in my arm. It's very important that you understand what this disease is and how it can be easy to miss. I've said this so many times in the last year, it's like surreal, you get up, it's like, oh yeah, my, my son has cancer, and um, yeah, he's, he's amazing. I mean, that, that's him in a nutshell, is just, he wants people to be happy, and um, just to see him grow up into the young man that he is, it's, it's been amazing. And um, Jay as well, right? It's just like, he's such, he was such a good role model for him. It helped just knowing him so well. I was never, I was never too worried. I wasn't like, oh man, like what's gonna happen? I was always, you know, Sam's gonna be okay. He's gonna make it through this. And so, and he's just, he never brings us down with it. You know, he's going through so much, but he's always the strongest one. I, uh, I think sometimes when really bad things happen, you really see who people are. And this has been a perfect example of that because he just was always the kid that was kind to everyone and, um, you know, maybe sometimes a little bit too much. <laughs> um, but just, I don't know, and I, I uh, um, and just, you know, he'll leave a mark on the world for sure. I thought, how about as many people as we can get together. And that works perfectly with my idea of spreading awareness for youths. I thought we can get as many pros, as many you know, awesome people together on this video. That would be insane. Bring so many riders together. And um, I wanted to design a jersey that everyone would wear. And I would bring the whole video together with all of these pros from all over you know, the United States, all over the world, all different riding styles and everything like that in one jersey. I think it would be something really special.
Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. If I were to meet Sam tomorrow, I would say hi because I already know him. Just wanted to thank you for getting me out, giving me this sweet jersey. I'm gonna rep it for a laugh. Stay strong, man. I got your jersey on. It's a sick one. Check it out. I'm gonna flip the step down FT for you. Yo. I'm so proud of him for being pretty much a shining light through this really emotionally and physically challenging time. I would say don't lollygag around with like what you want to do. You got to get it done because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Just cherish the moment. Sam. Okay, here's Sam. Hit the parking lot, turn around, eat a banana, drink some water, and then do it all again. <laughs>